And we're back here, and every day at 1045, we go behind the lines with G. Scott. And so, G., one of the parts of the articles was the Jermaine Effetti story with Richard Sherman and the placement of the rookie where a veteran is, and, of course, the veteran's supposed to get the better spot. Talk about that. <laughs> All right. So in, in the article, uh, when Seth writes, he talked about one day that Sherman walked into the team meeting and found rookie Jermaine Effetti sitting at the desk. That's a no-no. Well, no, I'll just kind of get into it. Well, Jermaine wasn't sitting at a desk, okay? He was just sitting in a chair. Uh, they were getting ready to have one of the meetings in the little side studios. Not the auditorium, but in the little side studio. So you have, had a chair. All the guys, Everybody was, start, was sitting down. Well, when Sherm came in, Sherm just kind of asked, which, which you and I both know is kind of, hey, if there's not enough seats or something like mm-hmm. that, usually hey, a rookie has to give up his seat to a veteran. Okay, that's, that's, that's simple. Well, when Richard Sherman approached, Richard Sherman just said, hey, you know, uh, hey, Rook, let me have let me have that seat. Now, Jermaine O'Fetti didn't respond right away, but what really got it going was the veterans on the team. Hey, hey, Rook, hey, Rook, hey, you got to get up out that seat, man. You, hey, you got to get up out that seat. So it's one of those things where, like, it's, it's like in the 17 sports pit, if I'm sitting at Tom Wassell's desk and Tom Wassell comes in and is like, hey, G, uh, I'm going to need that, that that seat right there. I'm, you're, in my, you're in my spot. So – Instead of getting up, everybody in the sports pit says, hey, oh, yeah, G, you got to get up. And well, what happens in that, it would happen in that situation with Jermaine, Jermaine kind of, you know, he kind of felt the pressure a little bit, like as if, you know, like kind of like his manhood was being questioned. Even though he's a rookie and even though he should get up, it kind of intensified it when, his, when all the teammates start chiming in, like, hey, Rook, hey, Rook, you got to start getting up. Well, what if he did was he just kind of got up and kind of flung the – Flung the chair a little bit. He didn't throw it at anybody. He just got up from the chair, kind of made a little bit of, of a commotion. And so in that instance, my point is, is Richard Sherman wasn't the one, like, kind of poking the bear, trying to get up, get up, and all that kind of stuff. That story, even though it seemed like it was big, is not really that big because it's kind of the law. You, John, you've been around the league for 40 yeah. years. You know that. Oh, yeah. You know the rules? I mean, Ray, Rook's got to get up. That's so, it. <laughs> that's, that's it. So yeah, go, go get some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 